Hey guys, this is Chesney Hawks here. You are watching My Hammers 11 with the one and only Russ. everybody, Russ from My Amos 11. Hope you are all safe and well. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon if you may remain to be putting your content on. As always, I'll thank our lovely channel sponsors on Tuck It. Check them out in the description below. Today, uh, looking forward to ch chatting to Kaz. Um, <laughs> you all know Kaz. How you doing, man? Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, good. All good. How's, uh, how's, how's things been in the Pennant household recently? Well? Well, you know what I mean? It's been difficult negotiating me because I've had the raving up. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I think this is the first opportunity to take my mind off the off the, uh, the biggest party ever that we blew for the summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but you're saying that being a West Ham fan has helped. It's definitely helped me get over it quicker than than, than some others. We're used to that disappointment, aren't we? So yeah, well, even watching the tournament, you know, especially with England, not, you know, I mean, with the pals and everything, we all, we always see. You know, I mean, all through the tournament, this is like watching West Ham. Yeah. yeah. Every time we went one nil up, <laughs> you got them West Ham jitters. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? And the penalty is like, you know what I mean? I just took it back to the League Cup final with Liverpool. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's true. We were three in this three didn't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's true. It's true. It's like yeah. when you when when the when like you saw the possession stats, the Italian game come up, and it was like thirty five percent England. I was like, oh, it's just that's just like us this all season, thirty five percent possession, and then and then we we'll try and get them on the counter attack. My wife, she's she's she hasn't given a shit about football for years. We've been, we've been together, married for ten years, and for the last week she's got really into it. And afterwards she's like, oh, they're poor lads, poor lads. Aren't you upset, Russ? And I went, no, nah, not really, because I'm sort of I'm sort of used to it. I'll tell you what upset is. 87th minute, 2006, Steven Gerrard, FA Cup final. That's yeah. upset. That's upset. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still picture that. And all, all this done is, is a post traumatic stress. It just brought back that memory. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, I'll, I'll never forget that. I was with, I was with my son. And, well, it's exactly the same scenario. That's why I've had, probably had the ump all week because I'm a West Ham fan. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just, we've been there. I was there in 75, you know, in 80. And we're yeah. all part of that generation. And now, you know, now we're. Yeah, we're the old Upton Park generation, and now you've got the next generation coming through. I'll yeah. never forget taking my son to that Wembley final. Yeah, I mean, it's so important before, the, you know what I mean, the generation coming through. And I said, son, yeah. you've got to take all this in. You know, they've been sick and tired hearing us back in the day, back in the day. And I'll never forget, you know, father and son moment. You know what I mean? I got carried away with the father and son moment. I turned around to son. You know, I mean? you know, looked at the clock, turned at my son and said, it gets better. You've got the town hall, East End town hall, they come and must experience that, son. And he went, Dad, the game's still playing. Don't say that. And do you know, like the words you're trying to stop, I'm trying to stop the words yeah. from coming out. You know, yeah. what I mean? it's that magic moment of father and son thinking like, you yeah. don't know what's to come. You know, what I mean? we've been there yeah. and I've opened my bloody gob I just see, I looked, next time I looked to the pitch, all I see, I think, is Repka. You know what I mean? It away yeah. with the ball, and I think, who's this gone and fall to? Don't give the possession away at this time point in the game. You know what I mean? Yeah, who's yeah, yeah. Falling to? And I looked, I thought, no! He's not even kicked the ball, but I just see who he's falling to. Just knew, yeah. You just knew it, yeah. And you knew. Do you know, like, do you know, like, you know when someone's going to run up before they kick the ball, you know yeah. they're missing that penalty. You're just thinking, yeah. like, I want to go and go for this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm having this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's that moment, and your son's just like, Dad, why did you suck? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, we always have a little chat about that because I always take it personally that it's my fault. We it's lost your fault. Right. Do you know what? Do you know what? Like, just to, you know what just I mean? to make, make you feel a bit better, Kaz, like, the amount of times I've, I've spoken to people, I think, I think, I spoke to, I think Baz, Baz took a picture and he had one of those cardboard cutout FA Cups and he was like 87 minutes taking it, just ready, getting it all ready for like when the final whistle happens. And obviously then, obviously Gerard scored. The amount of time of people have sort of think they, they're they the ones that jinxed it. So, uh, yeah, it must be a collective West Ham just <laughs> <laughs> fault. That's it. it is. Oh, Scaloni. Oh bless old Scaloni! Yeah. Just, just kick the ball! Just kick the ball! Why did he do? Why did he play? It? Oh. oh, but he did win. But Scaloni did win. They won the Copa America, didn't they? He's, he was in charge of Argentina, so uh, they won the Copa America. So you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
we did that. So we, yeah, we'll add we'll add that. We've done we've done the World Cup. We've done the World Cup. We've got we've got a the, the Copper America. We could have won the Euros. West Ham could have done all three, but no, 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 no. Let us down. But anyway, yeah. anyway, yeah, roll on Qatar. We've timed it as well. We've done it. We've done it, Sandy, because we had rice there, didn't we? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. He played yeah. for me like way reads the game. You just think of Bobby Moore. You know what I mean? And. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's so important as well because you can see him captain the club for a good few years if he, if he yeah. won that trophy. You know what yeah. I mean? In the West Ham, so, you know what I mean? Represent England, you know what I mean? And uh, exactly. And, and England, you've seen captain England as well, I think, just in, well, in terms of his mentality. Yeah. I'm saying you can see, you know, I mean, that's that's the good thing for the future. I didn't realise how young that side is. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what I mean? It's the younger mm. generation look at it differently to they don't know. It's, we, we know it's 55 years of her. You know what I mean? And they yeah. look at it differently. They just go, dang, you know what I mean? We've got a great team. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're watching these. You know what I mean? Youthful experience, youthful, youthful experience, isn't it? That's what it is. But you're right. Yeah. It's a really young team. And I think you know, there's there's so much to come out of them. Um and it's and it's weird. I think, you know, I was talking to someone the other day about it, and, and this this England team is sort of you know, I, I put something really cheesy on social media saying, oh, football has come home because, like, you know, we love our England team again. You know, to be fair, you know, we, I, I, I'd, I'd gone out of love with the England team, really. It was all about West Ham. And then this team's come along and I've sort of reconnected with England a little bit. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it, it's, it seems a really likeable team, maybe because all young lads and stuff. And there's no... Maybe because there's so many, from so many different clubs as well. It's not all Man United and Liverpool. Do you know what I mean? It's like spread yeah, I out. Know. I mean, the yeah, you know, the final was pretty much um, Man City and Chelsea, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But you know what I mean? We go for so long with no West Ham involvement. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, we were lucky to get Sinclair on the plane to the World Cup. Wasn't it? it was it was yeah. like a, a, a step up. You know what I mean? Um, True. Yeah, you know, and we got to go back to that 2002. Was it Japan? You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, with a lot of West Ham fans are angry. Mark Noble never got the sniff. You yeah. know what I mean? And we're never involved as a West Ham club no. with England. You know what I mean? You've got to go back when Rio's wearing a shirt of another club. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and all that. You know what I mean? So you, you got to think, Antonio just missed this squad. Yeah. Well, for injuries, you know what I mean? They'll seriously look at it and be part of this mm. squad. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he might have had two West Ham players. You know what I mean? And, and for the future going forward... You know what I mean? I mean, the rice and the age groups, you know what I mean? It's um, future wise, it looks good. It's just a bad week at the moment. So it's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bad week at the moment. But, you know, and, and, and that's the thing with England as well. I just think there's there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, it just seems, I mean, I, I was listening to Peter Crouch and various others talk about old England squads, and it was always like, you know, the Chelsea boys and, and the rivalries between the players in the clubs. I mean, you had obviously your, your Keynes versus Vieiras and Gary Neville's. You don't have that as much now, I think, now. It's all like, you know, Foden and Mount and Declan, they're all mates and Grealish, and they're all mates, you know, rather than, so it must be hard when, you know, if you, you know, I don't know if, if the Chelsea boys, old school Chelsea boys like John Terry and stuff like they were like proper like with the Liverpool and then they have to come together and be all friends again, you know, for the football, or for the actual England team. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Roll on Qatar whenever, that, <laughs> whenever that's going to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, a, that's another story, isn't it? You know what I mean? Oh, Is that the World Cup as we know it? Oh, it's ridiculous. In December, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's the other thing that hurts, really about this week because it's Wembley it felt football yeah yeah. you know what I mean guitar it, it, it just feels all part of the modern game which I'm very like you know what I mean there's a lot wrong with the modern game in my eyes yeah. you know, uh, you know uh, the money side of it yeah you know what I mean even, even, the, even the ticket prices for Wembley you know what I mean oh, a know, lot of money uh, weren't they a lot yeah, of money you know what I mean you, 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 you see them families with their kids and everything and you're thinking like Jesus, you know what I mean? They, they're having a holiday for five yes, years. Yes, I mean, yes, a family holiday for the price they yeah. probably paid for that ticket, yeah. those tickets together. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. But as you said, well, it's, it's, it's about TV, isn't it? You know what I mean? Who's going to go there? Who's going to go there? Well, as, as, to, as to me, when people would get the message, football's no longer a people's game, mm. it's, it's a TV game. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. TV game. You know, how many countries in the world are going to sell it, the World Cup to? You know what I mean? It's not about how many shirts, England shirts, are going to sell. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, totally. I totally. And and we had that obviously. This we had it this year, didn't we? With the with the greedy six, uh, and yeah. and that you know that was a real sort of 
to you, you know, to everyone, including their own fans, you know, about the, the Super League and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a bizarre thing it's and, and it's a player's welfare i'm worried about you know it's like i was talking to someone the other day obviously dex just come back and deck hasn't had like a break since like lockdown one really because oh. after lockdown one they had they, they rushed through the 2019 yeah 20 2019 season then it was only a couple of weeks and they started the 2021 season didn't they and so yeah you know it's yeah. I, Oh, that's what all these extras now, isn't you? These Nations Cup or whatever it is, yeah, squeezed in everything, money, 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 money. You know, it gets, you know, what I mean, just gets too much, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the players you worry about, just because yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, they're fit lads, but you know, you can't then then you, then the the quality of the games will go down because they're not as they're not as fresh, and so right. that's what worries me. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, apart from that. <laughs> And you know, and and the, well, we're going on a European tour next year, Kaz, aren't we? So that's all right. Yeah, for I mean, considering like we're out of Europe, <laughs> <laughs> one, like it, is it? <laughs> one season we're out, of Europe, we're back in. Like it, is it? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think of it like that, but you're right, man. Yeah, be that's good, isn't it, for the fans? You know, nice European tour, a few games away. Hopefully, hopefully, mm. if we're in, you know, the right, if the countries are in the right. You know, green, amber, and red, or whatever it is, but yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Typical yeah. as well. We, West Ham, you know, as you said, with England, and you know, uh, we had probably one of our best seasons for a long time, and uh, no, no bugger was was there. So, you know, kind of the best thing is What's half that? of London's going to be watching West Ham in Europe. Yeah, you know what I mean. Instead of the other way around, because we're never in Europe, so we've no. got. To- all the other London clubs, you know what I mean? Good point, yeah. yeah. Good point. The Arsenal's and the Tottenham's, you know what I mean? They go have uh, oh, the Coronation Street or West Ham, what you know what I mean? <laughs> Coronation Street or West Ham. <laughs> Didn't think of that, but you're right, yeah. Thursday nights, Thursday nights. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll be rubbing it in, particularly with that Tottenham lot, not going to that Mickey Mouse one. Well, we're, we're in the proper one. We're not in the Mickey Mouse tournament. Yeah. We're in the proper one. But it was good, wasn't it? I mean, it was nice to see, you know, uh, again, it's like, bit same with England I think with West Ham as well I think you know to be fair the last few years even before lockdown and stuff people you know it was a bit of a chore going to West Ham and people would you know love it but it was like "Mm." and now with everything that's happened in the world and you know the fact that the team have played really well and got us into sixth we're in Europe when we come back next season people are really excited about going back to the stadium and stuff so and seeing their team so I'm it's been a bit of a reset I think for West Ham I think Moyes has done Moyes has done the business wasn't yeah, a fan at the beginning. He's, 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 he's earned the respect. I was never, That's, never. Yeah. You know, I was always a Moyes fan at Everton. Mm. You know, um, after Everton, I, you know, I was never sure. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, definitely. And I like the way you know he's done a South game. Really. He's done it his way. Yeah, good point. You know what I mean? I thought when he come back, I thought ah, uh, you know what I mean? He's going into the fold, isn't he? You know what I mean? They've got him where they want him. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I love the way. No, if I come back. You know what I mean? Like, on the, you know, speak up himself basically and, you know, put his ideas. And obviously, they support you that. But, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? He's, 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 you know, fair play. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're fair minded. They say it as it is. You know what I mean? And you have yeah. to win them over. I remember Pardew, he didn't have a name for two seasons. You know, it's a Sinclair and Blue Army. It was unusual. They always sung the manager's name. You know what I mean? Yeah, good point. That's a good yeah. point. I'll, I'll try Army, You know what I mean? It took two years to win the fans over two seasons. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's how you, little things like that, you know, <laughs> you know what everyone else is thinking. You know? well, it's true, it's little true. Yeah, I didn't, didn't, didn't I don't think very like that. What they're saying, what well, I could do it very, very <laughs> on the you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I think it's insane. I'll never forget a Peterborough away, you know what I mean? It's a typical, I think, Monday night, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, what the hell am I doing here? Why, you know, I mean, why have I got mates that give me tickets for Peterborough away? You know yeah. what I mean? Are they really my friends? I yeah. and I'll never forget. Yeah, you know I mean, I've never been a fan of Sam. You know what I mean? I was a big fan of him at Bolton, to be fair, um, mm. but not at West Ham. And I'll never forget that just non stop. You know what I mean? We're West Ham United and we play on the floor. And I looked, and the directors were up in a stand with us. You know what I mean? I, was, I could feel, you know what I mean? It was like the whole world was on his back with his overcoat on the pitch. He looked like the loneliest figure in the world. And I was, you know what I mean? A lot of, a lot of fans didn't go that match. They all remember. His, his outburst, which was a little yeah. while later, but it was soon enough. 
that what is the West End way? You know what yeah. I mean? I, I just went back to that night. I thought, I know why he's come out of that yeah. album because he must have felt the loneliest man when the whole ground erupted. We had three eggs. Three you know what I mean? And they all just erupted one after the other. One sung it, when the other one sung it. The West Ham United and we play on the floor. So, you know, <laughs> the, 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 the fans are like, they can be very subtle or very brutal. You they know can. what I mean? They yeah. Can. I think we've, I think we've, 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 we've Moyes as well. You know, looking at it from obviously, I mean, because I was, I was still at the games really, because I was still doing the music there. So you know, it was, and and what I lo- like about Moyes, and I don't have, I haven't seen any manager do it. Like an hour and a half before the game, obviously there was no fans in the stadium, but an hour and a half, the team did did a, were walking around the pitch. They all the team were out in their track suits, doing a little lap of the pitch, and no one knows about it. Cause no one saw it, but I did, and. It was just this real team bond. And I can't remember for a long time, probably to Big Sam, to be perfectly honest, that we had a team with that bond, you know, internally a bond. Because obviously even more so when you haven't got the crowd, it's all about the team because you haven't got that 20% you can feed off the crowd for. So, you know, I think there's extra extra credit for Moisey and, you know, bringing in like Nolan and, and Psycho and people like that. It's, it's, um, it's yeah, I'm looking forward to next season now. I am. Yeah, I bet, I bet the, the fans are because it's never felt like home, has it? And this season, no. the fans are not there. Yeah. The players don't help it. You know what I mean? Because they yeah. play like the away team. You know yeah. what I mean? For, for, yeah, yeah. for a few seasons at that new state. You know what I mean? Yeah. I try not to go if I can help it. But you know what I mean? What I've seen, you know what I, know I mean? mean yeah. is, is it, you never feel like it's neutral. You know what I yeah. mean? I just feel straight away that home advantage. You know, like they go to Anfield and it's the 12th man. Yeah. Well, they always say that about. The old Upton Park, don't they, West Ham? You never felt mm. that in this this season. I mean, we're not allowed to be there. You know what I mean? We've watched so many games on telly, and the way they play, that I've actually, it's the first season I've seen at a new stadium. West Ham now has got a home advantage, like any yes. other club. You know, yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. And that's, I know, it's these little things beyond the, the results that yeah. tell me an awful lot. You know what I mean? And you think, what's different? What's new? You know what I mean? There ain't really no new players. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it, it's noisy and a fair, fair credit to it. Yeah. Long mate, continue. You know? Long mate, continue. And he's, he's obviously, you can tell he's trying to mould it. And he's, I mean, you know, let, letting Haller go for half the money and Anderson and, and things like that. You know, there's, you know, that, that's money lost, but he's done it because it's there. He's play, he wants his players in, doesn't he? Mm. He wants his squad. So I'm all for that. As you said, I like him. I, like, I think he's great. I think Moyes is great. He's got a bit about him and he's, he's bringing back a lot. As you said, he was a great manager at Everton, great manager at Preston North End. And, I just had a few duff appointments because, you know, poison chalices at Manchester. You know what? We do best. You know what I mean? The West Ham thing is like, we're the greatest underdog of all. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, we're at our best when all is against us. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're the underdog. And, and I think there's a bit of that in Morsi. You think mm. he's, you know what I mean? He, he, he comes to the attention with Everton and he hit the top deal with Man U. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, thought he could do it at West Ham. It didn't work out. You know what I mean? You know I what I mean? mean. Come back as like, yes, you know, in the press will say something approved, but you know, in, in, in the fans' terms, it's like we know what it's like to be an mm. underdog and don't ever underestimate. You know, what I mean? no, That's yeah, no, I totally agree, man. You know I, mean? I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. It's, yeah, it's all good, yeah, it's all good, it's, it's all good, good. okay. <laughs> yeah. We're happy at the moment, we're happy at the moment, we're happy yeah. at the moment. Um, right, so right at the beginning, mate, why West Ham? Why, why is West Ham your club, mate? Um, I, I always believe your, your first live game destination your team. You know what I mean? Sure. I, I, I love this country. It's got a very thing, an unwritten thing, where you can't change your football club. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? No one can change their football club. And, it, and there's often a link to it somewhere. I always ask this. As a book person, the first thing I always ask is the question you've asked me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I always find it interesting. There's never a family link like... You know, there'd be a, I don't know, right in at heart and a mill water, be a West Ham fan. You know, well, your mother's from the East End. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a, or the family, all the others are mill water, whatever. You know what I mean? So yeah. there's always links, you know what I mean? And um, there's a lot of social history to it. But for me, it, it was really the atmosphere we've experienced in the past few weeks. Um, and that feel good facts that would have carried on and swept the country with right now as we talk. Mm. Actually happened in '66. Yeah, yeah, and you know the old thing. West Ham won the World Cup. You know what yeah, I mean? we always we also had the best team in London. Then you know what I mean? <laughs> the triumphs of '64 and '65. Yeah, you 
I mean, neighbor, I was, I was an eight year old Bernardo's boy, um, yeah. living in Slade Green, council house in Slade Green. And um, your parents were very old. So, you know, they didn't take their football. And the neighbor was a season ticket holder. And I think they felt sorry for us. You know? um, so I knocked yeah. on the door and said, would your lad like to come football? And straight away, like, you know what I mean? I've never been left home. You know what I mean? Without, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'd be foster parents, my mum and dad. And uh, so that's my first match. And, and, and I, was, I was kind of hesitant because the strange thing was, I think the big match had started then. You know what I mean? And you used to get your football kits at Christmas in a box. You know what I mean? And I used to pick teams I'll see on telly. And, and, and uh, believe it or not, walls are very good in the yacht. You know, as a kid, you liked them for the team's colours, these gold and black. You know what I yeah. mean? And they had players like Dugan and Bailey and all that, you know what I mean? And Wagstaff and all that. And I was also impressed with Jimmy Greaves at Tottenham, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Val didn't have a team, that, that they would have been my teams, you know what I mean? Like, sure. if you put on a team in the front room, you know what I mean? And uh, when I went to West Ham with, with the neighbour, I'd come back with rattles, scarves, rosettes, you know what I mean? And uh, it was unbelievable. They would play like John John Charles, you know, and everyone was just say on the bus, and they'd go, oh, you go to West Ham, do you like John Charles? And you know what I mean? Yeah. I remember being at school having the old, um, Panio stickers. I don't know if it was Panio then, but you had the old football stickers. You know what I mean? Yeah. And John Charles was always a swap. For suddenly the school played, man. You know what I mean? Gives that John Charles back. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just staying from that moment, basically. You know what I mean? Because it was, it was, this, it was the uh, after we won the World Cup, the new season, same year. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know what I mean? It was just a whole new ball game of actually going to a live match, you know, mm-hmm. going walking down Green Street, you know, Oxman are there, you could smell roasted oh, peanuts, yeah. roasted peanuts, you know what I mean? And <laughs> you see chest, chestnuts outside the bowling, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hot chestnuts and, you know what I mean? It's just, it just, as an eight-year-old kid, you're kind of looking, you know what I mean? Looking just, up. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just no. all people and you get a gap, there's be something there, something there and, you know what I mean? There'd be a wooden box and, just the whole atmosphere, you know what I mean? And then when you got home, you, you know, your mum and dad say, how, how was it, son? You know what I mean? And you, you couldn't, you didn't know where to, where to start. How was it? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, wow, you know what I mean? You know, and uh, yeah. they look after you and think, yeah, you know, you think, has this gone to football? Like, I've already spent my pocket money and I've still got another half a crown. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just everyone's, you know what I mean? It's, it, that, that, I don't know, it ain't just a football match. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. Even at yeah. eight years old, it ain't just a football match. Mm. And it ain't just a football ground. You know what I mean? It, yeah. it was up to and park. It just, from there onwards, you know what I mean? Like, I, I went every game I could with them. You know what I mean? Amazing. You and know, you're right. And you're, 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 right. Yeah. you're totally right. And it's one of those things, actually, thinking about it, you know, even more so now because obviously that you know we're in London Stadium with 60,000 people. But, you know, you, you went as an eight-year-old and you went there and there was – how many tens of thousands of people and it you know and same as me i mean my first game was early 90s but you know i was a youngster and there was 20 25 probably the most people i've ever seen in my life in one place but you didn't feel intimidated you just felt as you said part of a community part of a family and as you said they you know with the boxes when you went in in, in the boxes and, and put you down to the front and, and the peanuts and it's just it, it just felt normal. It didn't, you know, I've not interviewed, I've interviewed almost 400 people on this channel. Not one person said to me, I went to my first game. It was all right. It weren't bad. Everyone was like, just like you. That's it. I'm done. I'm in. I'm in. I'm, I'm scarred. That's it. <laughs> I can't get out. I love it. And that's what I think is so important about West Ham. And I mean, I've interviewed people from Brisbane to Bangalore to Baltimore. And you know, some people will never foot, will never stand a foot in Newham at all, but they still have that, they still have that spirit, that West Ham. There's a certain, it's a certain verb. It's a verb, isn't it? Being a West Ham yeah, fan, yeah. it's a, it's a, it's a way of life. I know they're famous to you. Your, your they, they move out, but they all come back, don't they? Because yeah. you know what I mean, they come back for that social spirit. Yeah. You know what I mean? They've all. And that's what, that's what you, you know missed. I, I feel like no one lives in the East End that more. Yeah, you know, it's a hammer. Yeah. They all, they all come back. You know what I mean? As soon as that game, that whistle's gone, they've really got to go far. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, it is that, that I love that saying, like, West Ham's my church. You know what I mean? Mm. You know? So true. 
you're so yeah. true. And you're, you're right. And it's and it is that it is that sort of and, and you know as you said, everyone's been able to watch every game on telly at the moment because there's no bugger being there. And it's not about if we finish sixth, we finish eighth, or we finish fourteenth. In my opinion, it's about that collectiveness again. And it is a bit like you know coming to church. It's about like congregation, you know. And the sad thing is, there's going to be people going back there who aren't going to go back there because they're no longer with us because of everything that's happened in the last 15 months. It's going to be a very emotional um, time, I think, going back to London Stadium. Yeah, that's another everyone. big thing, isn't it? I'm still looking back to Upton Park. So, you know yeah, I mean? of course. Yeah. Um, and it would be interesting when it gets to the stage, people can say the same with the yes. new stadium. You know what yeah. I mean? You know what I mean? I, I would love that. You know what I mean? Me too, I, yeah. I, I would love that. You know what I mean? If, you know what I mean? I'm not a fan of the new stadium. I guess yeah, it. But- yeah. I get it. I think it's one of the best stadiums in the world. It's it's it's, it's, not, it's, not your home. it's missing the the people. You know what I mean? The football yeah. ain't just about being the best. You know what I mean? On the pitch and you yeah. know what I mean? And the best stadiums. There's there's a big social thing. You know what I mean? Football mm. to me was was created for the working classes at the mm. social core. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, if you look back into the history of it, all, you know what I mean? You know, no, I, I get it, and unfortunately, really football because you work six days a week. The Sunday, no, yeah. Good. You know what I mean? Labour said, you know, if you don't kill the workforce and flog it to death, you get more out of it. Mm. And they created half a day on a Saturday. But what happens? There was pubs on every street corner. Yes. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So you had carnage, come pub closing. You know what I mean? It was just fights everywhere, and, and, yeah. and I think it was a Labour party said, "Look, we ain't going back on this half a day off." Yeah. We ain't going back from that, yeah, um, because of all, all the carnage, you know, drink, we couldn't have a drink again. And yeah, um, yeah. and so they said they need something. And so they said, well, they're very interested in football. You know, football was going on, but it wasn't a thing. You know what I mean? So they then started making football as a thing. How do you make football as a thing? And and the proof of what I'm saying is look at the history mm. of, of football clubs, the first history, the first 10 years of any football club with over 100 years um, behind them. Right. They all started out of cricket clubs because the only green belt you could play was on, was on a, a cricket pitch. Yeah, yeah. Whereas with a green belt being middle class areas, you know mm. what I mean? The working yeah. classes, it was just terraces after terraces after terraces. You know, yeah. there's no coincidence, grounds like Upton Park, baseball ground and all that, you could actually lean out of someone's front door, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. knock the door of the... Of the turnstiles, you know, I mean, they're that close, you know, and today they're all, they're not around people. They're no, all in no. retail parks and, mm. you know, I mean, wastelands yeah, yeah, yeah. and, you know, where there's no people, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's why you've got that job. kind of tribalism because coming to the East End was like walking into someone's backyard. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah, I get you know, that. And, that. Yeah. and then you had the same when you went other you went to their you know, backyard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And that's, that's you know, the, the history to football is so important. It, it gets lost today with the money, people. You know what I mean? Mm. No, no, it's true. Yeah. This, thing, oh, this is a magic ingredient. You know what I mean? If we, mm. if we capture that in a bottle and we set it back to the fans, you know what I mean? Right, they're taking yeah. You know what I mean? They just don't get it. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I, I understand. And it, 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 I think it's also, I mean, obviously, I have I mean, I started pointing that, that I got into football sort of the early 90s and, you know, money was, yeah, it hasn't had a Premier League and started really. So, you know, but even then, and we've had, I mean, we've had loads of ex-players on the channel, you know, and we've had lots of ones who I, who I were like my idols of early 90s and, and you sort of, and they're just, and they were so relatable now. And the, the fact is, you know, nowadays, obviously now we can get, we can go out, the players can do the player evenings, you know, boys of 66 and the boys of 80 and, and things like that. And you would go and pay to watch them talk about the same stories they've already spoken about for the last 30, 40 years, because they're relatable and you, and you could you could walk into a pub and you might have seen Frank or or Tony, you know, but yeah, you know, that type of thing. And I think you, well, you, you could, you could, and, and you don't get that now, you know. Yeah, I remember walking into the bowling and 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 um, it was Hutchison who was there. Yeah, you know what I mean, playing on the pole table at eleven o'clock in the morning. What the hell are you doing there? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because he didn't have internet, so he weren't up to it. You know what I mean? So yeah, he, even in standards, you know what I mean. So he's he, he was standing at Pitt, so he was down to play. You know what I mean? On a Friday, he's playing. Right, yeah. we're the first ones there. We're the first ones out of Green Street, early doors, st- waiting for the bowling run. We're straight in. Who's on the pole table? Hutch. 
You know what I mean? Love it. Well, I'm sorry, everyone puts their money down. It's like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You know what I mean? Oh, I'm injured. No, you ain't. We're arguing with him. No, you ain't. You're down to play. You know what I mean? You better be. You know what I mean? You better be. You better, you know I mean? you better not be playing. When we go in that ground, you better not be playing. You know what I mean? I swear, I swear, I'm injured. You know what I mean? I'm injured. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what I mean. You know what I mean? And you have that relationship and you go yeah, back and forth. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're one of the players I picked, um, Johnny Charles, you know, Cammy yeah. Town. And then after a the game, they didn't come out with their cars with the black windows, you know what I mean? Mm. And, and drive past the fans and then, you know what I mean? No one could see who they are. They walked yeah. down parking mode with you. Go yeah. home, you know. Yeah, that's you know, true. Yeah, you know, time moves on. Time moves on. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm old school, and you know what I mean. One of those. Hence, <laughs> hence, the, hence the t-shirt. Hence you know, the t-shirt. The team, the team of um, '66. When mm. you go to an events, you know what I mean. You realise they're fans, and, and yes, it's, it's it's kind of magical. You know what I mean? Especially it you know, is. like Frank and Cotty and all that. You know what I mean? And they don't change their views even when they're on Saturday, when they're allowed to say something. You know what I mean? Yeah. They speak as fans. You know what I mean? It's so true. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's more than a job. It was like, you know, what I mean? it was like a privilege. Yeah. It wasn't a job to play for West Ham. It was like a privilege. That's how they come across them, guys. You know what I mean? It's so true. I mean, we've interviewed, I think we've interviewed a bit of, uh, approaching 80 players, ex players for the channel. And every one of them, whether they've whether they are Frank or Tony and they've played hundreds of games or scored hundreds of goals, or maybe they're Sebastian Carroll, who only made one appearance, you know, in his three months, you know, his loan spell for Monaco. They've all, they all said to a man how much they loved West Ham. They loved the club. And it's not like if it was one or two, but it's not, it's all of them. They all loved it. They all loved their time there. Some obviously more in debt, something like Macca or, or Crossy or someone like that who really sort of got into it. Or, you know, so, as you said, like we had um old Stag on, we had old Deer on a few weeks ago. And he would, he would, as you said, about John Charles walking to the down the barking road, he'd get on his, he had a little push bike, a little chopper, which he'd get to back, <laughs> back to his house from. And it's just, I love it. I love listening to the fans because because we because we're passionate. When you're passionate and the players are passionate, it just makes it seem worth it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I, you know, and that, that's what the trouble with the modern day now. I mean, I don't think that's, the why we, that's why we never used to lose at home. Yeah, we never won away from home, but we always <laughs> stayed up because we never very rarely lost home games. Yeah, because the players knew. They got to ride their chopper bike through the crowds. Yeah, they yeah. rode <laughs> after the game. <laughs> so they they run through brick walls on the pitch. <laughs> so true, so true, so yeah. true. Oh, bless. But uh, yeah, uh, it's, 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 it's 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 a different. It, the, the, the world of football is different now. It, it's not what it's not what it was even from the early nineties, even the sort of late two thousand, early two thousands onwards. It's changed. Um, you know, things like the London Stadium. My my daughter, she's nine years old. That's all she knows. That's all she knows is West Ham plays play at London Stadium. And so fair play. But she's never gonna get that excitement as walking down the street and you bump into Pete Butler walking out of Woolworths or something like that. You know, that's sort of like yeah. that, that, that that little bit uh, as a 12-year-old kid and you, you know made all your Christmases at once. That's the one sad thing I think with with, with modern day um footballers. They, you know, they, the money's in the game, so they live in Canary Wharf and stuff like that. Fair play to them. Fair play, you know, they earn the money, they should be using to spend it. But um anyway, let's talk about your eleven, Kaz. As you said, you alluded to it with John Charles and stuff, but we'll we'll talk about it in a bit more detail. So um as I said everyone that we have on the channel, bar um Harry, um, bar Nigel, uh, actually one of your picks as well, hasn't didn't pick an eleven, uh, and Ian Bishop, everyone else has picked an eleven. So you can pick whoever you want, based on whatever criteria. The only rule is you have to be alive to a scene on play. And that's it. That's that's the rule. So do you wanna do you wanna go through your your concept, Kaz, for this? Because it is a concept. Um, I'll maybe come to that at the end. Okay. No problem. Yeah, because okay. it's there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like it. I like it. Right. So people know if it's a concept or not. You know okay. I mean? oh, 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 spoiler alert. There might be, there might not, or there might not be his concept. Yeah. <laughs> right. Who's in goal? Who's in goal, Kaz? I will, I will say that style, this is my Hammers X1. Yeah. Yeah. And not my super hammers X one. Oh, to be another time. You know what I mean? I, 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 you know what I mean? I've got a super hammers X one. Yeah. yeah, but I've been asked to do my hammers X one. Okay. And yeah, like you said, there, there is a little concept to it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We'll see. We'll okay. see at, at the moment. You know what I mean? Um, in goal is Shaka. Oh, boom, Shaka la. Oh, yeah. love the man. Love him. Love him. 
I love Shaka. And he's one of the ones I talked about being relatable. Because I used to live in Loughton, and I always say it's about Shaq's. And I told him, and he remembered it. He doesn't remember me. But every Friday, I used to work at Safeways as a, as a youngster. Every Friday, he would come and do his big shop if, the, if West Ham were playing at home. Oh. He'd do his, own, do his own big shop. And you'd see him, because he's so bloody yeah. tall. You'd yeah. see him, uh, his head across the uh, top of the thing. But, oh, I loved him. Such he's a cool guy. Right yeah. Such yeah, a cool guy. I love him. Yeah. I love him. Love him. Love him. Love him. Obviously, he's a top boy. Top guy. He's, he's got ham- hammer of the year, didn't he? You know, he's, he like, did. It was. It was. It was a character. Yeah. It was unusual. You know, it was. It was. It was, it was quite. Quite an unusual. Um, you know, to to recognise as a keeper. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he had a great, great, great name. And his own song, didn't he? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you've got a name like Shaka, you get a song. You know what I mean? So, always <laughs> quite interesting what players get. Get a song from the terraces and what don't you know? Yeah, sometimes it ain't, ain't nothing to do with because your best player. It's just you know what I mean. It's just a name. Work. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly it's think as... work with a song. You know what I mean? I'm not remembering a song now, but like you know what I mean. I honestly think there's like a WhatsApp group that I'm not part of because someone must, because, because there must be like a collective group who come up with these, because they come turn up like one game and it's like, when you're like, I know that like recently, like Manuel Lanzini tune and things like that. You go, That's brilliant. Who, who sits, do you sit down over a pub and sort of work on a concept of a play? You know, I don't know how these songs happen, but yeah. Shaka. Well, modern dialects uh, tend to be lacking because everyone has the same song. It's they like, do. No originals, you know what I mean? Nah. It's a, like Eurovision Song Contest, right? Like, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's nothing rising to the top, right? Like, you know what I mean? Um, and, it's, and it's all part of a, you know, like, I have a way like it used to be. But if you yeah. when, I, when I first went football, you go like the 60s and 70s, you know what I mean? It, it was, it was, there was a thing going on. It's, 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 it's made because you, you know what I mean? It's grown men singing nursery, nursery rhymes. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and you know what I mean? Gimmicky pop songs on the terrace. You know, yeah, you're yeah. trying to be hard or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you look at it. But there used to be people, always been what I call choir masters. And it's very interesting because, you know, Henry West Ham fans must have the name Bubbles. Yeah. For each generation, it must be hundreds. Yeah. I'm, I'm up to Mark. It could, it could only be one Bubbles. And he mm. used to come up when there was two Bubbles. We had two bubbles in our crowd, the regular boys that went away. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And anyway, you know, they sort of had a little fans powwow going on, like, well, no, there can only be one bubbles because he's oh, the choir master. <laughs> he used to all week be in his bedroom thinking up songs for the terraces and he'd try them out on the terraces. And everyone knew that he was the choir master. Yeah. So everyone went along and had to sing them, even if he didn't want to, do you know, because he, he's know. the West End choir master. Do you know what I mean? And it's with bubbles, and there was another bubble. So they turned around and done in the end. They said, "No, you can be bubbles in your hometown because he lived in South London." So there's all Millwall, Arsenal, and Charlton. Yeah, there weren't many West Ham fans, so they all called him Bubbles. That was his nickname. So it's Jimmy. But when he went to West Ham, he had to yeah. be called Ernie because we can only have one Bubbles, and he's the song master who thinks yeah. of the songs all week in his bedroom, tries them out in terraces, bang, and then we then we got one. Yeah, you know, it's just lovely. You know, Diesel. <laughs> I love it. That's so cool. Diesel, grown man singing nursery rhymes. <laughs> oh, <crazy>. right. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'll put Shaq in. Right, who's, who's, next? who's next, Kaz? Because I don't want to take you for too long, man. Who's, who's uh, next? Who's next in the team? Well, John Charles, the one. John Charles. The one. Super Disney John Charles. The one. Yeah. Um, Lovely man. Yeah. Top man. Incredible, Top man. incredible player. Incredible player. Incredible and lucky player as well. Um, sure. he, he was England under 18, I think the first black player to play for England. Yeah, England, England. England, was 18 for England West Ham, yeah. West Ham's first black player. Yeah, um, legend name because the Welsh player John Charles is, is the football legend. Yeah, um, and um, but our John Charles, you know, local lad, Canning Town, and the great team was 64 and 65. He was injured, you know, what mm. I mean. Um, yeah. he, played, he played a lot of games for us, and when, I, when you asked me about the first game, you know, what I mean, you know, the player I went back with was John Charles. You know, what I mean? yeah. Um, so yeah, and so I, I love it that West Ham have had that history early, mm. right? Because you say like you got into football in the nineties. You know, what I mean? there's a lot of clubs didn't even have a black players to. No, tr- no, very true. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? So the West Ham go right back to the sixties. You mm. know, what I mean, um, you know, in today's times. You know, it, it, it's 
it's a quite quite an achievement for the club, yeah, yeah. and for the player, you know. Yeah, um, and you know, people when you're young and everything, and you know, who who are your role models? You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. So all, all these things matter because later on you realise the legacy these players are left. Mm. You know, what I mean? even though it's quite unfortunate, his his life after football. You know, mm. what I mean? as as a lot of players, you know. Because they were all the lads, you know what I mean? They weren't earning that much more, more money than, than no. you know, a, a, I mean, a green grocer or a brick lad, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, so a lot of them did, did use the struggle, you know what I mean? After the football, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, John Charles is, is is a kind of overlooked legend. Yes. Yeah. No, I agree. We had yeah. a we had a guy we had a, a couple of guys on a, a while ago, and, and they've they've written a book um, called Football's Black Pioneers, where basically they ca- went through all ninety two clubs. And and tracked and, and tracked the first black player to play for that that club, and it was and, and some people some of the, I think Chris Kamara was like two or three different clubs. He was their first black player and didn't know, you know. And it was just it's incredible their story how they went through every literally every. I think they didn't, yeah because they, they did actually do ninety four because apparently Mansfield and another team were going to be promoted in the in the Vauxhall Conference. But yeah, fair play. So it was incredible. And obviously we spoke a lot about John Charles and stuff because. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? But yeah. um, yeah, well, like his nickname was the one because he was the only one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So they would start off there, wouldn't they? Yeah, I mean, I'll start it off there and you'd be faced with John Charles. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put Johnny Charles in. Who's who's next? Who's next, Kev? Well, from the old guard to like, you know, a, a mean mach- slick machine, you know, young guy, and I find it incredible we only played fifteen games for us. You know what I mean? Um, it felt like I watched him for longer, you know. Mm. Um, and it's Glenn, Glenn Johnson. Yeah, it's you a know, great shout. When you actually see class on the pitch, and so young, what was he, twenty-one? You know, what I mean? something like that. Yeah, something you like know? that. And I, I still find it unbelievable now. I can't believe he played fifth, just fifteen games. You know I know, I mean? crazy, um, isn't it? It just felt so at home at West Ham. You know, the, the yeah. crowd talked to him, and and his class since he left West Ham, you know, just backs it up, don't it? The clubs he played for, you know what I mean? Mm. Chelsea and Liverpool. Um, I imagine John Charles and Glenn and Glenn Johnson on both ranks. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And I think he's what we've, we've, we've Glenn. He was one of those, he was the first one I can remember because obviously we'd had we'd had yeah lamps and, and people like that in the team and and he was the first one I remember that went as soon as he started playing we thought he's great. How long until he leaves? You know because it was yeah. like everyone else yeah. was like established. I mean I know there's another player. You know, you, you're going to put in. He he played, maybe made over a hundred and something appearances for us. But Glenn, as soon as he came in, you thought he's too good for us straight away. He's yeah. he's going to be going, and it's, it's it was a horror. And that was sort of the, the the first one I can remember because everyone else had played over a hundred games for us. For the you know Frank and Michael and Joe and stuff like that. He was the first one I thought. Well, so I was really watching as a fan. You kind of feel their personalities. Yes. You know, from the pitch, how they play, the body language, mm. everything else. I never got the feeling that he would go yeah. straight away. Mm. I, I, he always, he was always had a great relationship with the fans. He was very comfortable with West Ham. He always looked like he loved playing at West Ham. You know, he, yeah. he probably did, but you know, there's no reason why they shouldn't move or not. You know, what I mean? but I, I thought he would have a few seasons with us before he moved, moved on. You know, what I mean? uh, yeah. but again, it was part of that. 90s generation, it where everything moved on fast with the Premier League, the money just you know, what I mean, you know, what I mean, it's it just quick. football was changing so fast to the world we knew it. So, I'm still, you know, what I mean, it would have been in front of me, you know, what I mean? yeah, life, you know, no, I get you, I get you, right? We'll put Glenn in, so we've got John, we've got Glenn. Who's who's next? Um, Anton, Anton Fernandez, oh, we're both gosh. brothers, you know, yeah, oh, we'll talk know, about in, Anton first, yeah, Gordon. and Anton because. Uh, he's only in because of his brother, but I'll never forget. Um, you know, they was always talked about before they actually played the first game. Yeah. You know, uh, and you know, back in the end days, the fans used to go to the youth games and all that. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if they was doing well and stuff. You know what I mean? So you pick pick up, you know, all the regular fans that watch the youth team. Mm. Um, it was quite a popular thing to do to follow the youth team. You know, you know what I mean? So you pick up yeah. in a pub and they would say something. And they would go. A lot of us regulars knew. There was another further at the club, you know what I mean? Um, and they all rated them as well. You, you know, you get to speak to the some of the training staff and coaches, you know what I mean? Trying to get a little bit of insight, you know. Yeah. Obviously, 
you know what I mean? It took longer to come through. Uh, and it was no surprise. I thought we'd done well for us. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah. I, it was just a shame that, you know what I mean? People picked up more when he played against his brother in a West Ham shirt. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. But we didn't have the, the joy of his playing with his brother a yeah. lot longer. You know what I mean? But it's purely because of age group and rankings. You know what I mean? And, for, oh, for, totally. and, and again, you know, and, and Anton's um, a, light, a light, decent chap as well. You know, lovely bloke, lovely guy. Yeah, I've done a I've published a book. Um, I've, you know, I've been an author, and then I, I started publishing my own books in 2004. Um, mm. A company called Pennant Books. One of the things I really wanted to do was was um, was a book on uh, on the black players that played for West Ham, um, because at that time there's a lot of st- stuff going on about racism. You know. Yep. Um, and I've had it all through as a West Ham fan. You know, I do interviews. Like that. They'd always be Arsenal fans whenever I, you know, what I mean, the media would interview me and that stuff. Like, you know I mean? Yeah, yeah. They'd always accuse us of being a racist club. And I'm like, you know what? It ain't just quite like that. had a lot. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we had 58 black players at the time playing for West Ham. Um, wow. And there's a, a fantastic West Ham author. Um, there's a favourite of the club called Brian Belton. Yeah. Uh, and I managed to get his services to, to put this book together for me. It was, it was actually his idea. He's always had it for years and couldn't get it published. Mm. So he actually come to me, you know, West Ham thing. You know, we don't publish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Business is business. So I said, no, this book needs getting out there. I'll take a punt with it. And Anton, this, this is the book. Yeah. Anton, um, let's get in touch with him. And you know, like, that time, you, you can't reach players. And you can't yeah. have to do nothing. You've got to go through their agent. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I managed to get a chance to ask Anton, would he do a chapter for the book? And he said, well, where do you want me to interview me? You know what I mean? He ended up coming around my house because he lived in Peckham and I was living in Penza at the time. You know what I mean? He came around my house, just knocked on the door, old and we had an yeah. unbelievable session. You know what I mean? Of, he's in my house doing this book. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, it's just a fantastic. And like I said, that's both brothers on the cover. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. In West Ham shirts, but they very rarely played. You know what I mean? In the same time, yeah. but they yeah. did play together. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, top, yeah. top boy. He's a, and a lovely guy. Yeah, I'm underrated. Under you know what I mean? And, and very what happened to him later in life. Um, you know, you know, it's what's like. You know, it's, it, 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 it won a world winning documentary. You know what I mean? Yeah. I felt, I felt, it, you know. It, was it worth it in the end? I felt, you know, he got the rough end of the stick with that, you know, with the, with the John Terry business that went on. Yeah. You know, because, you know, I think with the turkey, you know, what happened to Anton Furnace? Mm-hmm. You know, you get these players, oh, whatever happened to Anton? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I just yeah, felt yeah. it was such a shame. So I was so pleased with that documentary. A lot of a lot of answers I felt were unanswered were answered yeah. in that documentary last year, you know. Um, mm-hmm. and, I, and I thought, ah, you know what I mean? There's, there's a few things that didn't add up, but they, make, they all made sense once I said it. I've seen it. Yeah. Up. So if you don't see it, um, oh no, it's brilliant! It's amazing! It's amazing! Yeah, well, that, uh, what went on there? Well, it's yeah. fantastic. And of course, so of, so of course, yeah, we've got Ant on him. We spoke. We, we know who else is going in the team alongside him. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be you know big brother Will. You know, yeah. you know. Um, also, a lesson: if, if you're going to leave a club you love or a club you feel help help give you the platform. There's ways of leaving, isn't there? Yeah, we know that is, yeah. You know what I mean? And if anyone needs an example, then Rio Fernandez. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He went to Leeds, big money. So all that greedy, greedy and everything else. Never, never heard none of that. You know what yeah. I mean? When he yeah, come yeah. back from the club, you didn't get no Judas or nothing. You know what I mean? You know, and he went on to Man United. Again, he does it with style. I know a few Leeds fans and I don't say nothing about that either. And, you know, Leeds Man United is like crossing over the middle wall. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, 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 definitely. It says a lot about the guy as a man and as a character and as a personality. You know what I mean? He's pure class. And oh, he is. I'm yeah. just grateful that we see, see so much of that on the pitch, you know, um, at, at West Ham in a West Ham shirt, you know? Mm. So, Very yeah, he, he's, he's straight in there because he's pure class. Yeah. And his yeah. record is, is amazing. For England and everything else, it, it, it ain't just oh, I played for England. You know, yeah, he's, he's got some amazing record. You know, amazing um, player. Yeah, just yeah. skillful. Very, very skillful. Very, 
very smooth as a player. And we love to, yeah, we love it. You know, he's never wasted any opportunity. No, he's never wasted his talent. You know what I mean? He's progressed every every season. Mm. He's played football. You know, um, and now even watching him on TV, I'm seeing him. I notice him more. You know, he's a pundit and all that. Yeah. You know what I mean? he's, he's yeah, he's growing into it. If you know what I mean? Now he's he's he's. You know, his mainstay there is full on, where before I thought, oh, he's just there. You know what I mean? You know, those pundits that turn up to a penny, don't they? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's bring something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now you listen to him, and you know what I mean? You, you, you know, you think, well, he's, he's got management, management material, you know what I mean? He, he does. Um, he yeah. does, yeah. He's just, he's just a classy. Whatever he does, he does his best at 100%. Yeah. You know? Classy, man. So it, it's, if, you know, if you witness. Rio at Upton Park, then you know why he's in the Hammers X1. You know? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, man. Right, okie dokie. There's your back four. Let's move into midfield then. Who, who's your first midfielder? Then we got Kaz. Uh, Rio Coker. Nigel. Do, do, do. Yeah. Um, I always liked him. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've, I never knew why he was in the team. He's a player you had, you had to watch. Yes, I know I mean, what you mean. And then yeah, you yeah. realise his contribution. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he got a lot of unfair stick, I felt. You know what I mean? Um, I've got good memories of him. You know, the playoff finals and that, yeah? And what I liked about him, I like a player. He, I don't know sure where he's from, south of the river, I think. You know what I mean? Must be. We're Wimbledon yeah, boy, and yeah. he's there. Must be, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, obviously, the obvious, he loved playing at West Ham. You know, and outside yeah. of West Ham, you listen to his interviews or whatever, you get a chance to meet him. He's full on West Ham. Yeah, he is. I mean, when he was playing. So I like him to players. Like a lot of the team of 86 were all fans as well as players. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you don't, it kind of disappeared a lot in the 90s and all that. You know what I mean? Um, but with Rio Coco, he, he he was off the pitch really, you know what I mean? Further at West Ham, you know. Um, and he was he was a fighter. You know, he was at the time West Ham and a terrible soft underbelly. You know what yes. I mean? And we got, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got ribs rotten by all the pundits and everything. You know what I mean? Down with the Christmas lights and everything else. You know what I mean? <laughs> and often the players played like that as well. They right? give up. You know what I mean? You know, like, you know, you can leave 20 minutes before the end. Of, you know what I mean? It used to be a sin at Upton Park because you just mm. knew. You know what I mean? They was going to offer nothing. You know what I mean? Um, and he was almost singly handed, just would get the team to fight. He would fight and he'd get booked for it, he'd get booked for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and he, he wasn't a dirty player, he was competitive. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really I know you, mean. you know what I mean? So it, I thought he's different to West Ham. You know what I mean? And he's like that in his personality. And I think that's why he rubbed up a few people's shoulders, you know, yeah. what I mean? coaching to whatever, because he's so competitive. Yeah, you yeah. Know? But it showed because he eventually come catching, didn't he? You know what I mean? He was at a young age. Yeah, he was a yeah. You know, you look yeah. at Devin Rice and you know. Sooner or later, you just keep the catch yeah. arm band warm for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a fighter. He's a scrapper. He's a fighter. You don't, you know, um, Mark Ward was another one. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we are, we are Coco because I, I admired his contribution to West Ham. And I think um, he, he, he's um, he, he's underrated. Yeah, he's very he's, underrated. Yeah, he's not got a personality that obviously warms to the public. You know what I mean? He's, no. He's no, a that's, a, that's a good to learn from knowing him. Yeah, that's a really good way of explaining. Yeah, obviously, I've had I've, I've, I've spoken to Nigel a few times, and that's exactly the way the so best way to describe they him. They don't know the players, so they don't come yeah. across. You know what I mean? Body language yeah. and all that. But yeah, I, I'd have thought to meet him a good few times, and and um, he's fiercely West Ham. He's fiercely competitive, and it explains why he, you know what I mean, come from where he did and had the captain's arm band. You know what I mean? I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah, right. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. And again, you know, you know, as you said, like, you know, 21, he said 21, 22, not, not an obvious captain in that team. We were, you know, we were floundering in the championship, really. Pardew, you know, he came in and, yeah. you know, he, he, you know, he did. And he got his back up and, you know, we ended up getting to the FA Cup final. So not bad. It's not bad for him. But, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll put Nigel in. Who, who's, he, who's next, man? For Wins. In C. In C, yeah. A lot of big poles, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you play the music to drown that the Judas chance? <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the stadium, Russ. You know what I mean? Is that what you're thinking about? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. No, Paul Wink's great player for West Ham. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, um, a great player for any team, Man United, any team. Well, every, yeah. everywhere he went, didn't he? Did well, well, like well. Saying, we all sit as fans, like, what, you know what I mean? We watch the Chelsea, Tottenham's, Beholder players, and we're grateful for whatever crumbs come our way. You know what I mean? Mm. We don't really go in a transfer market. You know what I mean? That's I why our best players are homegrown, like Bobby Moore and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, we don't, yeah. We're not known for buying top class players. You know what I mean? Mm. Ince is like homegrown, Ilford. You know what I mean? Come for the ranks, but you knew, just like Rio, you knew at a young age he was going to be. He was world class. You know mm. what I mean? Um, you just knew at a young age, and the fans loved him. Loved him. Um, mm. But he was young. He just, he, the position he played and the role he took on the pitch was an old head on young shoulders. Yep. Yeah. When he left West Ham, he left totally the wrong way. That's why I flagged up the right way to move with Rio. You know what I mean? But I think actually there's a lesson for a lot of players. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Be careful Definitely. if you're going to leave West Ham. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he done everything, everything right on the pitch. He done wrong off the pitch yeah. with that move. And that, you know, it's unforgivable. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Any it was. other shirt, but not a Man United shirt. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And you know, he, 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 we didn't know he's moving, and he's, he's the press had got him in a Man United shirt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? It all went pear shaped from there. But the story behind it, you know what I mean? Like, never believe all the, what the press do um, and say. Um, yeah, you know, it led to his downfall. But the story behind it, Ambrose Mendy revealed to me. Um, on my podcast, a casual chat with Kess. Nice plug. Uh, I did mention it in, the, in my book, my biography. Yeah. You know, and I never knew, I knew the story through his agent at the time, Ambrose Mendy. Yeah. Um, he told me years ago when I was doing the clubs. And I put it in the book, but you never you never know as an author, like, I've named someone who's a public figure. You know what I mean? Mm. Would, they, would, they, would they ever back what I've put in the book publicly? Yeah. Of course they can't. He was still playing at the time and everything. I did see him, see, years later when his Wolves manager in the Black Prince, uh, it was a hotel now. Um, it was a hotel, he was staying at with the same before Wolves were playing West Ham, they stayed at the hotel in Bexley. Yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, so we bumped into the hotel and asked him about that time, you know what I mean? And you know, what I mean? because I, t- I let him know I knew the story and he knew and he didn't deny it, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, but I said, You're so young, you could have got off that, off that just by seeing you young and naive because everyone knows what agents are like, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. The only agent, people would only be happy to blame the agent for that episode of why you left West Ham. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, you've you, you, you done the deal before while you're still playing for West Ham. You know what I mean? Mm. And, and, you know, the press had you in a Man United shirt while you're still under contract at West Ham. You know what I mean? And, and you took an idea for that publicly in the press and with the fan base still yeah. to that day. Yeah. He, he's still got that inch. Attitude is like he's an East End boy, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's like, well, you don't even know, yeah, you haven't given me a chance, you know what I mean? <laughs> so rather than get out and explain it, it's you know what I mean? Then so be it, bring, you, it yeah. bring it on, you know what I mean? Which is yeah. typical, we see, you know, um, and it, it it kind of got the same little feedbacks from Man United, didn't they? You know what I mean? With that Ferguson and all that, you know what I mean? So he's a guy that will stand up with himself and he, he doesn't care what the odds are, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. and I always felt it was a shame because, um, and I told him as well, you know what I mean, that he was a great player. West Ham fans loved him. They and, did, yeah. You know what I mean? But that's unforgivable, the act. People didn't know, you know, I knew. But the way, you know, you know he confirmed it, but the actual full story is even, even better, you know, and Ambrose Mendy actually reveals that, you know what I mean, on, yeah. on the podcast. And it, it's, on the podcast. It's, it's an amazing story of agents of football how it was mm. back in the time. It's absolutely unbelievable. You know, if that, it happened today, it'd be, it'd be major news everywhere because it just could not happen. But he had, you know, the, the agent stood in and took the medical as he would never go to Man United. You know what I mean? But it, it's, it's just a fascinating thing that, you know, it's just like you go to the, the team of 86 dudes and, you know, what people reveal. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just think, wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just it's tell it, it. Yeah, so... Yeah, so into, you know, and I felt being a black fan at the time, it was very hard being a black West stand fan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because he was a great player and mm. he didn't have to go like that. And he brought it on himself. No, you know, he definitely brought it on himself. I know what you mean. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's the NC way. And I, I just think, it, I told him, 
he made the wrong move and he made the wrong move after. You know what I mean? He didn't need to do that. You know what I mean? But I will say this, you know what I mean? There's, there's another side to that story. Um, and it's it's known there. It wasn't known at the time. You know what I mean? I was, I was the first one to reveal it in print um, in yeah. 2000. But it, it, it's known now. But it's only, only, only last year, I think, uh, Ambrose Mendy. Uh, and and, and the, the true story behind Ince's move to Man United is, 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 is gold dust. You know what I mean? It, yeah. it's, it's gold. Yeah, it's podcast gold. You know? Yeah. That's all I say, Mac. But it's always say, go and check out, go and one. check out Kazzy's yeah. podcast. There he's a go. lion. You know, he's a lion. And, yeah. um, you know, that team, it's Italy 90 in Turin. You know oh, I mean? yeah. Oh, yeah. You know I mean? you know I mean? So it's a shame because, you know, some of the players that are left West Ham, what a team, you know? Oh, yeah. God, we did, um, we had, uh, we had Tony Carr on a while ago and he did his 11. Um, which he did an academy 11, which was basically the World Cup 2010 squad, pretty much, bar mm. Stephen Bywater, to be fair, and Tony Cotty. It was like, you know, because he had JT in there, he had he had Rio, obviously, he had Carrick and Glenn and Jermaine. It was just mental. It's mental. Yeah, we had an England team for a decade. Yeah, we did. All we really did. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Right. Okay, so let's put Nigel and put Paul Ince in. Uh, who's next? Trevor Sinclair. Tricky Trev. Tricky Trev. Just a great Love Tricky, Love Tricky yeah. Trev. It's just um he's, he's one of the players. I think his best goal was actually having the, the QPR shirt, isn't it? The famous yeah, yeah, yeah. basketball <laughs> kick. But he did score some crackers for us. You know he what did. I mean? We, we, ain't seen rocket, we ain't seen rocket shots since Jeff Hurst. Yeah. You know I mean? great, great shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he could, but I'll never forget saying that so you know what I mean. I'll, you remember Trevor Sinclair because he was stylish. He was, he was like, wow, you know, what's this wingback business? He yeah. mastered that. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah. You, know, you want to know what a wingback is and you're old school and uh, just go and watch Trevor Sinclair and you'll, you'll learn what a wingback is. You know what I mean? Very true. Yeah. But I'll never forget in the chicken run, um, a little crowd incident, yeah. I, I moved into the chicken run and, and everyone, and I told the boys I'm going, we're in the chicken run now. You know, you'll leave the pub. Where are you going? Oh, chicken run now. It's the only part of the ground I've never stood in. Um, because you couldn't stand in there back in the day. You had, you had cool. to be old, old school, you know, the chicken man. You know what I mean? Yeah, you had no young, young upstarts in the chicken man. They wouldn't allow it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I kind of earned the right be, to be there by age. You know what I mean? The time I got into the chicken man. You know what I mean? Uh, people, people in the chicken man have been there regularly and said, ah, oh, welcome to the chicken man. Have you met the, met, met the manager? They all kept on about, have you met the manager? Yeah, once I told them where I was sitting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't understand what I was going on about. You know, like, what ex manager? You know, they never explain. They just <laughs> like it's like one of those you, you'll you'll see. You know, what I mean? yeah, you'll find that you'll, you'll know. See. And it's Trevor Sinclair, and I saw I penny dropped what I was on about. Have you met the manager? Oh, you're sitting over there, are you? you know, that's where the manager sits. And I thought they meant Harry Redknapp on the other side of the dugout. Yeah, yeah. both dugouts. You know what I mean? So suddenly, there's this guy who used to get up in the, in, in the middle, with all the crowds sitting down, he used to get up, you know, and, and the linesman used to swap chains ends. We're giving so much abuse, you know, it's line up, line up, up the arse, line up, up the arse. Yeah, yeah. All the time, non-stop, you know what I mean? But the line used to change off, and they didn't get in his spirits, line up. They'd, they'd, they'd let him a baptism with this fan, you know what I mean? Give him abuse, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he was a proper Joe Public guy, you know, he looked like a city stockbroker. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, so he's the most unlikely fan you think of. And uh, and he'd always be telling the team what to do. So he's almost like, I don't know, PlayStation manager before it was invented. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And he was all the, all the instructions and, you know, all the movement. And all of a sudden we get a free kick just outside the box. And you see him stand up and everyone just goes, everyone just resigns. Here we go. The manager's up. <laughs> it's a fan. <laughs> Here we go. And he's, he's up. And he's gone. He's, he's thought about it. And he's gone. He's looked. Trev, what are you doing back there? And the Trev's gone back to fullback position. Because Red Next told me to get back. And then normally he comes up and the crowd gets excited, sling clears up. You know, let him yeah, yeah. You know? But he's been told Red Next to stay back and cover. So he's gone. He's come up and he's gone back. And the manager's looked and he's gone. You need to be up here. And he's told him, <laughs> Trev, what are you doing down here? You need to be up here. Get up. Get up here. Come on, Trev. Up here. In the hole. In the hole. You know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> unbelievable. You know the heat of the moment? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah, you create noises, you focus on the pitch as a player. All he heard was, Cliff, up here, you want it up here? And he started to move. He <laughs> came up to my third one. The chicken run, run is in ruptures. One pretty laughing. And by the time he got the halfway line, he could hear the laughs of the chicken run, and he's realised that he's, he's done that resign. Of, oh, what am I doing? You, know yeah. I mean? you look across. Red Bat's going red in the face and standing up. He's going, and you can almost hear him. Trevor, get back, get back. And the manager, the more you hear Red Bat going, get back, the more the manager's going, Trevor, what are you doing? Get up here. Oh, I love it. He's going backwards, forwards, as his zone was here with Red Nat and the manager, the two managers, were yeah. both right to the pitch. You know what I mean? And, and, and everyone just, you know what I mean? It's just one of them famous little so chicken run stories. You know what I mean? And that's, oh, I that's, my, that's my gold moment from the chicken run. Love Trev, but, he, but he's such a nice guy that that's what yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love him. Such yeah. a sweet man, but, but yeah. what a great player! I mean, Hammers one all day long. Oh yeah, a, amazing, amazing player. Yeah. Um, never sc- never seen to score a tap in for us uh, at all. Right, okay, so we'll put Trev in. Who, who's next? Who's next? Another Judas. <laughs> Another Judas. <laughs> I've got one but two. <laughs> <laughs> the, a great player, great yeah. player. Um, OBE, OBE, Jermaine Jermaine for OBE yeah. yeah, services to football. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. I thought at Charlton, thought we've, both, we've got a good one here getting from Charlton. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, and I've, you know, I'm going back a bit and a 20 goal season, man. Oh, it's cold. today's oh. game, yeah. you can't win nothing without a 20 goal season, man. You know what yeah. I mean? What will Man City win? Without Aguero, you know what I mean? We'll, we'll find out soon, yeah. won't we? We'll find yeah, out this season. Everyone needs, well, that's why they got Kane. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it's all you know what I mean? You don't get rid of Aguero for, for that reason. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So you know what I mean? But um, he's a 20 goal season, mate. He's greedy. Yeah. Whatever, you, whatever you've got problems you got with him, he give you 20 goals a season. You know what I mm. mean? Yeah. Um, all day long. And you'll miss that. You know what I mean? And I, I just thought, he's a great player. You know, like, all, you know remember I told you, like, the first. Players when I was eight years old, I was like Jimmy Greaves. I love, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Stickers, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, you know, no reason. It's just a gift. To, I think it's just a gift. Yeah, it's a knack. Yeah, yeah. Above the shoulder, just got the neck. You know what I mean? And then every season, they get yeah, a real test that can do it at different clubs. And mm. he's there. And you know, you know, if you left West Ham, he'd be getting 20 goals a season elsewhere. And it doesn't matter what the club is, Portsmouth, Rangers, Tottenham, or whatever. He'd done that. Yeah, you know what I mean? at the end of the day, you know, you just got to swallow swallow your pride and say, you know, he 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 was good for West Ham. Um, yeah. he, you know, and we, we shouldn't have let him go. You know, we're off from yeah. that because it, you know, he was, he was already gone before the season ticket has been dashed, 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 dashed out for the championship. You know, what I mean? yeah, yeah, he was, was already gone, gone yeah. so he, he, he bought it on his back. But you know, it, it, see, it's another thing with West Ham. You know, he played with Charlton, but he was a local boy. You know, mm. his dad used to live in, in, the, um, in the market. Yeah. Yeah, and he used to come on my stall, you know. And, you know, it, it, you know, um, and he, he sent me once, like, hey, can you sign, give me a scrap of paper? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. He had a funny relationship with his dad because his dad had his problems, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, but he gave me a piece of paper and the game had started, you know what I mean? And... Uh, so always, we always used to talk to him and I said, what have I got to sign a paper for? You know what I mean? Um, do you want me to sign a book or anything? No, just a bit of paper. You know, he said, he's got your book. You want to put it in the paper. I know he's got your book. So I signed a scrap of paper. I said, what name do I put? He said, Jermaine Defoe. So this guy we used to talk to on the, on the stall. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he knew us from the old days, you know, but he looked worse for wear, you know. Um, so he kind of like, you know, you just hear him with him and, you know what I mean? Whatever. And, uh, didn't realise you couldn't put this guy as Jermaine Defoe's dead, but he was. Yeah, you couldn't put two and two together. Yeah, and he wouldn't go in. And other yeah. times he didn't have a ticket and he'd be lending, that's my son, and I can't go and see him. You know what I mean? Other times Jermaine would give me a ticket and he wouldn't go in. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, he yeah. Wasn't in the state of going, you know what I mean? And you know what I mean? And I, and I just thought then, you know what I mean? Jermaine Defoe, you know what I mean? Uh, local, you know what I mean? So the local, yeah, like old school, but at the old yeah. sixties. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why I felt Jermaine. You know what I mean? What, you know what have you done, lad? You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, 
It could have been a local hero, don't you know? Could have been, yeah. yeah. Could have been. Don't, you know, different generation, different yeah, age. It's you know a shame, I mean? isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Paul Atchard, to be fair. Paul Atchard. But yeah. we're talking football. But, but, but saying, but say, you know, in a, in a complete... In a complete difference as uh, to Incy, you know, Jermaine's come out and said, "Yeah, I was, uh, you know, I, in, in in retrospect, I didn't handle that very well, <laughs> you know." So it's it's one of those things, isn't it? It's it's mm. basically said, you know, he could have what, what he could have been, you know, he could he could have been a he could have been the next Tony Cotty. Yeah, you know what I mean, in terms of his yeah. goal, in terms of his style, and again, that type of player, that type of. 20, you know, sort of nippy striker. You don't get a hell of a lot of them in the Premier League anymore there. They're all forwards and like Vardy's and he's not a striker. He's more of a forward and, you know, you don't get those sort of fox in the boxes anymore now. No, no, um, it's instinct as well. It's instinct, instinct, yeah, Vardy, exactly. Yeah. You don't see that now, do you? Because it's no. just come out of them. They're not allowed to think, basically. Very true. Yeah, okay. and it's the coaching manual. Yeah, he is true. Right, so we'll put we'll put the put the second the the, the Judas the second coming in. Um, <laughs> he's yeah, and then you've got the completely opposite. Yeah, you know what I mean. Both number nines. Yeah. yeah, and this number nine, complete opposite. You will not hear a bad word ever said about this guy. But he had plenty of stick. Trust me, plenty of yeah. stick. My best. Yeah, yeah. He's seen a lot of bananas, everything. You know what I mean. Mm. But I never forget. He was our best. George Best was one of. My, yeah, if you ask me the two greatest players, I can't split George Best and um, Pele. You know what I mean? But I was so proud as a hammer back in them days. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if John Charles was the one, then I was the one off the pitch kind of thing sometimes when we travelled away. You know what I mean? And um, yeah. Clyde Best was like, you know what I mean? It was before Frank Bruno. You know what I mean? Before Newton Christie, anyone. You know what I mean? So when you're young, you're like, you know, it's, and his work that icons live up to, same, like oh, Bobby Moore, or whatever. Sure, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It was great that, you know what I mean? The love from West Ham for Clyde Best. You know what I mean? You know, and he's one of the players you, you know, you know, when he was bad, he looked bad. <laughs> and when he was great, he looked great. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's very, very, it's very similar, very similar to your other number nine. We'll talk about in a minute. I think yeah, when, 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 you know, when he's when he's good, when he was, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Clyde Best was very much like that, particularly in the later years. But he still managed to get eight years at West Ham. You know what I mean? Great. And he, you know, he come over as like an immigrant. You know, and yeah, he was completely isolated in them days. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And what he went through. And I, I, I think I think all the young black players know. You know what I mean? And, and a lot yeah. of a lot of fans don't know. Mm. Uh, he basically was the man behind, well, not the man behind, but he, he was the one that done well when the American football started. Yeah. Not soccer. Mm. He's actually got his own pub named after him, I think Fort Lauderdale or something. You know what mm. I mean? Where he was the top goal scorer in, in the American League. You know what I mean? And I think it was at the time George Best was out there. Or some great player was out there that should have won it. They thought we'd win it, but Clyde Best won it. He scored the most goals in, in the American Football League. Well, all these yeah. pioneer days when they all went out there to, to, to launch proper yep, football. Yep. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's, it's quite interesting because we mentioned John Charles, mentioned Clyde Bess. Um, they've got amazing history connected to American football. And I think it's John Charles' brother, younger brother, Clyde Charles. He actually coached the uh, American football team or the Canadian team. You know what I mean? He started it out there. Wow. You know? So they've got an amazing history. And a lot of mm. that, you know, we've got a fantastic author called Brian Belton. He's a like, historian on West Ham. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, he, he's done, you know, I think, John Charles' book and all that. You know what I mean? But their legacy is bigger out in America, the Charles and Clyde Bess and Clyde Charles, than anything they've achieved here until recently. In two recent years, yeah. In his last few years, Clive Best has got a lot of recognition. Yes, like, yeah, yeah. Recognition. I think he's got an OBE or something like that. Any, you know what I mean? Mm. Something like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he's from uh, Bermuda or somewhere. You know Bermuda, what I mean? Yeah, he's in yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he's been over on Saturday. I think he's been put, promoting his book in the last few years. So you kind of, you know what I mean? He's an old legend. You, you know, he's been brought back in recent yeah. years at the time. He he was massive for West Ham. It was it was it was someone that everyone remembered from the Terences, you know. Mm. Um, and 
yeah, it, it was yeah, it was a pioneer. He was a pioneer for black black footballers today. Yeah. Um, and the funny thing is, when people ask him, because it is a big talking point today, um, you know, being black in football, yeah. you know what I mean, as a fan yeah. or otherwise, you know what I mean? So they, they, they can always remember Clyde Best and things like that. So he does get, you know, the obvious question in interviews. But he, he nearly every interview he does, he, he don't know the problem of racism because he said he never encountered it. From the, from the fans or the club, you know what I mean? And there's a thread mm. to that. John Charles says pretty much similar, you know what I mean? You know, um, you know, um, so yeah, interesting, interesting. Mm. You know, yeah. And um, yeah, interesting because I've got to say, when, when the doors are up to park closed to 16, yeah, it was perfect for me. Um, because I went as an eight year old in 66, so it's 50 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? 50 yeah, yeah. And the Hammers X1 reflects that. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And yeah. speaking of that, okay, speaking of that, obviously let's let's play, let's put the last let's put the last one in. Who who was part of that squad that, that the doors closed with? Um who who's your last player? Who's your last player? Antonio. Antonio. Yeah. Antonio. Well, it's Michael, but no one ever calls him Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. It's one of those surname, first name jobs, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, Michael yeah. Antonio. And you're right, similar to Clive Best. You, you know, when, when, when Antonio's on it, he's on it. When he's not yeah. on it, he's not on it. Yeah. That's, that's fair to say, isn't it? It's yeah. fair to say. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, so, but what, 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 what a player for, for consistency. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, He's brought so many smiles to West Ham. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? yeah. Um, and belief. Belief that bloody hell. You know what I mean? And you actually feel like, oh, a few more players like that. And he's given a little breather for people like Rice and everything mm. to develop and push on more. You know what I mean? You know, when you first noticed him, you just felt, God, bloody hell, we need another 10 like him. You know what I mean? <laughs> now look at the team. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now, and when you first saw him, what, why he hit the fans so much is game. We didn't have a team of fighters, don't we? Get Anderson and all them were in the team. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You know, great on paper, look well beaters in a few games. Yeah. But you wouldn't have you wouldn't have none of them in the trenches with you. You know what I mean? And when Antonio come around, it's like we ain't a soft touch no more. You know what I mean? Wish you had a few more. You know what I mean? Um, you know, like Mark Noble and that. So it felt like we just had Noble and Antonio. You know what I mean? They'd roll their sleeves up and you know what I mean? Go where it hurts. Yeah. You know? Um now look at that team. You know, the Czech players. You know, we're all watching the Czechs in the European thingy ball because of the West Ham players. You yeah, know I mean? yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? It's just that, you know what I mean, that we want to do something. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we're West Ham, ain't we? You know what I mean? And you want that yeah, right. You want that on the pitch. You know what I mean? You don't you do. want Arsenal greatness and all that. There's, there's marble walls. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what I mean? We book up the hotels at Wembley in advance because we're going to win something all that. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's like China, isn't it? You know what I mean? Um, it's true. I know exactly what you mean, and I think we've had Billy Bond's mentality. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see that with Antonio. It lifts the game. You see how the other players because he doesn't give up. He doesn't give up, and and I I think he's he's a he's a bully, and he bullies defenders, and and we love that, isn't it? Yeah. It reminds me a lot like Clark Best because he's got that. That's what, that's what I mean. Yeah. The body, yeah, and he yeah. puts it about, you know. But he's got skill with it, so you just think, oh, he ain't just. A hustler and bustler, you know what I mean? Exactly, I know exactly what you mean. And he, yeah, but, well, but he, and, and well. there's, there's still, you know, he, he's starting to, you know, I mean, he was two seasons ago, he was nowhere near the goal scoring charts, but two seasons of 10 goals, he's, he's second, he's joined with Mark for the top Premier League, you know. Um, it's very difficult to know what his position is, though, isn't it? That's he doesn't know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very difficult to, it's the sort of play you want to give a free reign because he's very hard. Once you give him position, and it's the one he wants, mm. he's not consistent with it. You That's know what I mean? He's, he's, he's a bit of everything. He all in the is. same game. You know, he's on the wing, he's centre forward, he's like a wing back at times because he's, you know, he picks Runs the ball back, up yeah. and hand passes back to the halfway line and everything. You know what I mean? He's, he's an actor, man. He, he is, is an actor, man. Yeah. You know I'm I mean? always, for me, he, for me, he's always, I always prefer him on the wing. The only reason is is because fullbacks are usually smaller than centre backs, so he could physically intimidate the left fullback mm. a lot easier than the centre back. 
but yeah. we'll see. But he's but he ended the day, he's yeah, as I said, he he, he will he will end up being our top Premier League goal scorer of all time. He will because yeah. he well, got, well, if, if he don't, if he don't, one well, 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 his injuries because he is a bit muscle packed. Yeah, I think he that's is. A, a yeah. lot of with his injuries. You know what I mean. He does get injured quite a bit, doesn't he? Yeah, and I think that cost him the Euro squad. You know what I mean? I, I agree. I agree. And I think it, oh, it does. If he there in front of him, he still would have been part of that squad. You know what I mean? Or the close call. Without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Right. That's that's the team. I've, I've only got a 4 4 2, so I put Antony on the wing just because just I think I prefer him on the wing. Um, <laughs> I wonder if anyone can guess the concept. Um, <laughs> <laughs> of the of the team, I think we I think we sort of understand what the concept is for the team, um, but I tell you what, in their pomp, mate, that team, oh, well beaters, that team, mate. I'm telling you, absolute well beaters. I like that. I like that. Um, right, we need to we need to obviously we'll, we'll plug we, we've plugged the podcast, but also plug the plug the merch as well, the the t shirt and the, the 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 fashion brand as well, old school fashion brand, all good stuff there, all good stuff there as well, my friend. And um, it's been a pleasure. It's no, it's been, been a pleasure. pleasure being on. A, you know, you know, every, every family like is like Desert Island Disc, isn't it? And I've had, I've had a few enjoyable things in my time. And one of them is like playing me, me music choices on radio. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is another one. You know, like a bucket list. You know what I mean? Yes. You, you, yeah, Hammer's X One. You know what I mean? And I just thought, Brilliant. well, you know what I mean? I've got a Super Hammer's X One, but that's. That's the team everyone else has already put out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> so if you get away from me, you know what I mean? I thought yeah. I, I thought I'm, I'm mixing up a bit for it. I you like it. Cheers, I thought it gives people food for thought as well in the times we are at the moment. You know what I mean? Very topical and, at the moment. It always comes to the forefront because they our history. Um, but the press seemed to me obsessed all through the seventies, eighties, and nineties. Yeah. There's secession with the media that West Ham's a racist club. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah like yeah. any club, it has its races. And for at least a couple of seasons, it was beyond belief. Mm. Yeah. So there's no denying it. But the session with the press is bang out of order and it follows into people's psyches. You know what I mean? I'm getting yeah, yeah, so yeah. tired of journalists that are Arsenal and everything else from the East London, whatever, and I think West Ham's a racist club. I've met mm. fans that support other clubs, and I say why when you're from the East End, because they thought it's a racist club. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've met other fans that support West Ham because they know um, they had some black fans, you know I mean? me included. You know what I mean? And I feel the same with the players. Um, it's kind of underrated. The club do a lot for racism and kick-out racism. They've been doing it for years. Um, but as a, as a Projection, you know, for years I've had to defend that West Ham's not a racist club. And yeah. when I look where it comes from, why are the people so quick? You know, Mill will get even worse, but I think they deserve it after time. You know I mean? um, but I know a lot of Millwall fans who tell exactly. that yeah. story. Yeah, and yeah. It, it, so I, lot, you know, I, mean, I do know, know from, from, from the direct. But I've always, the best answer I've had, and I stick with it, is. The media have never forgiven the East End for Moses' black shirts. Yeah. And that's where it goes back to it. The obsession with the East End being racist. You know, the obsession, if they told the East End, it's Clays, Dockers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where are the Docks? You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? It's always the opposite to what people, you know what I mean? Oh, the Dockers are the chicken man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stop brokers or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all have all these possessions, you know what I mean? Like, and it, it, it's great. We're a great nation of stereotyping anyway. But it, the obsession with the media and West Ham being a racist club when a lot of people were like, well, West Ham fans, they talk to me and, you know, and they're kind of like, you know, you know different. And I know different both ways, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but, totally. Yeah, but it, it goes back to, you know what I mean, the Nancy's rose in the East End. They were yeah. smashed in the East End by the East End people. You know what I mean? It goes back to Jack Spot days. You know what I mean? Um, but that's what, so you imagine that time period, the papers, where's all this black shirts coming from? What's going on? Everything mm. East End, East End. You know what I mean? And it's a bit yeah. like every normal person in the East End, if they say they're from the East End, people it's tarnished, yeah. go the clays. You know what I mean? Yeah. And all yeah. that. Yeah, that, that's the word tarnished. And that's that's where it stands on. Because sometimes it's over the top. You know what I mean? Mm. And that's why, you know what I mean? That's why I've done the Hammers X one. That's why I published the book back in the day. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a talking point and don't go away, and it's all opinions. Uh, but with me, it's from experience. 
Yeah, makes perfect but sense. And at the end of the day, you know what I mean? The reason, the only reason I'm still a hammer, because there's only one colour that matter, and it's clout and blue. There's two colours, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you mean that. Yeah, we, don't, we don't say it as two words. Do we? we don't. You know we what? don't, do we? No, you're no, right. We don't. Blue army. We don't. And blue army. <laughs> yeah. Blue army. Yeah. You know we? we can't. We, 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 we're not very good at English. Yeah. Yeah. twist to it. You know what I mean? So One true. word, cloud and blue. <laughs> cloud and blue. Yeah, yeah. Cloud and blue. Yeah. Same as same. I mean, we're not very good at geography as well. We thought McClos Ludo was living near Moscow. It doesn't. Czech Republic's no, <laughs> no near. They were near Moscow. So it's closer to here than it is where he is. But anyway. Pleasure, man. Thank you so much. And obviously, go and check out. Obviously, we put all the all the descriptions of all the podcasts and stuff for Kaz and, and the and the, the old school um, fashion stuff and yeah, all that stuff's going to go in there. Just and, good uh, old school, but in the day, like bring on a new season. We're bring still on in a new Europe. season. Come we'll on, you guys, and we'll see you again. <laughs> European, we're all going on a European tour. Yeah. Take care, everyone. Much love. See you later. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah.